Morning guys. It's early. We've got a long drive ahead of us, but we need to get on the road so we can go and get our bees. So let's go. Man, I always had stories about the city line and the crazy nights. I figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out. See what it's all about. But the trap you see how I'm flipping it with my fingers? <laughs> kind of practice that with the blank frame a few times. Because you don't want to kind of, you don't want to drop it. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that because they will get upset. But you don't want to like be doing this number here and trying to, you know what I'm saying? If you can get used to just holding this out like this and then flipping it in your fingers, um, it's a lot smoother. Um, smooth is fast, fast is smooth. Um, if you're like going through here real rough and quick, it's going to agitate the bees. So, we are finally back. We've got our two nooks. We've got the side-by-side -side warming up so we can take them out. It's a chilly day today, so hopefully this should go pretty smoothly. So let's get the bees out to their new home. Yeah, I ain't here to try to change your mind. Trying to save the time. We have officially got our bees. They're down here. We're gonna let them just hang out here for about 30 minutes just so they can calm down before we actually transfer all of the frames into the hives. So while we're letting them calm down, we're gonna get the hives ready. We've got in hive feeders that we're going to feed them simple syrup just to get them started and hopefully get everything transferred without too many stings. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away? Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep? Every night, and what's it dreaming of? Come on, girls. I wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. So the bees are officially in their hive. They seem to be pretty situated and happy. We'll come back out in about a day or so, just so we can let them chill out for a day and get acclimated to their new area. But I also want to give a big shout out to Mammoth Spring Apiary. Daniel is who we got our bees from. He is just a wealth of knowledge. He has a Facebook page and a YouTube channel that I will link down below if you have any questions about beekeeping because obviously we are noobs here and he is where we get all of our answers from so you can go straight to the source for him and i guess we will see you guys in the next one if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button we put out new videos every week and we'll see you guys in the next one
Bye.